Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing the topic differentiation. I'm sure you, you must have learned how to estimate the gradient of the curve by drawing a tangent and calculate and then calculating the gradient of the tangent. Now, this method of drawing a tangent, calculating the gradient from a tangent only gives an approximate value of the gradient. And the reason is because of the inaccuracy of drawing the tangent and also um, as well as uh, also the time, it's also time consuming. Now, calculating the gradient from a parabola, for example, by drawing a tangent is time consuming. And so one method of finding the exact gradient of the graph of a function that does not involve the use of graph or tangent is called differentiation. Now, we apply a general rule here for differentiating power function, and that general rule is given as d dx x to the power of n equal to n x to the power of n minus 1. In other words, we're multiplying the power n by the coefficient of x and then subtracting 1 from the power. Let's say, for example, you're given a function y equal to x squared. Now, if you're asked to differentiate y with respect to x, it's going to be dy dx equal to, now the coefficient of x is 1, and the power of x is, the power here is 2. So multiplying the power, power 2, by the coefficient of x, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Now, I've got x. So now, we have to now subtract 1 from the power. So I will subtract 1 from 2, which is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we're going to end up with just 2x as the value for the gradient of the function. Now, let's go ahead with more examples. Find the gradient of the curve y equal to 2x minus 3 in bracket to the power of five at the point two to one. Okay, the point on the parabola on the curve with the coordinate x, x and y coordinate two to one. So the x and y coordinate is two to one. Now to find the, the gradient of this curve, we have to, at this point, we can expand the bracket and differentiate separately. But this will be time consuming. So the most efficient method that is applicable in this case is the, the, the method we call the chain rule. Chain rule. Now, the chain rule states that dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. So this is the method we're going to be applying to solve the problem. Now, to apply the chain rule, first, we will, <clears throat> to apply the chain rule here, first, I will say let u be equal to 2x minus 3. Now, u is the term inside the bracket. Let the term, u represent the term inside the bracket. All right. Now, if the term inside the bracket is u, then y will be equal to u to the power of 5. Okay. So now let's differentiate this separately. I'm going to differentiate separately. Now, to differentiate u with respect to x, it will be du dx du dx equal to, now of course the power x is one, multiply one by the coefficient of x, one times two, and then subtracting one from the power, so du dx will be equal to two. Now, to differentiate y with respect to u, which is dy du, dy du equal to, now dy du, multiply the power, of u by the coefficient of u, which is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. 
And then subtracting one from the power would be five minus one, which is four. Now, after differentiating separately, we can now apply the chain rule that says the y dx is equal to, now, dy du, from here we can see dy du is equal to five u to the power of four. So I'm gonna write five u to the power of four times du dx. Now du dx is giving us two. So I'm gonna write two. So we have to multiply now. Now multiply five u to the power of four by two. Five times two is equal to 10, 10 u to the power of four. Now, of course, the uh, there is an expression for u, so we can replace u with the expression two x minus three. So this can also be written as 10 times two x minus three to the power of four. Now, to, to find the final value or to get the final value or the exact value for the gradient of the curve at the point two to one. So the point on the curve, we have a X and Y coordinate of two to one. So I will substitute the value of X, which is two into the expression here. So we have to substitute now to find the exact value of the gradient. And here we've got 10. The bracket two times two minus three to the power of four. Okay, now two times two is four. So we've got 10 times, now we have two times two, four, four minus three, one, one to the power of four. Of course, one to the power of four is one. So which means 10 times one is gonna be 10. So the exact value of the gradient of the curve is 10. Now, I want you to give this a try to differentiate with respect to x, the square root of 2x plus 3, and leave your answer in the comment section. If you enjoy my lesson, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to share, and give us a massive like. Thank you.